Hi guys, Ben here. Welcome to part 2 in our series of World of Tanks Xbox Tip of the Week. This week we're going to be focusing on camouflage mechanics in the game. Now, camouflage and spotting are major parts of the game mechanics in World of Tanks, and understanding them properly will help you succeed in this game. Today I'm going to run through the key points regarding camouflage, and I'll go into spotting in more detail in another video. First, let's try to understand the relationship between spotting and camo at a very basic level. All tanks have a certain base camouflage rating and a certain spotting range. These depend on a variety of things to do with what your tank is and how you have it set up and also depending on your actions within the game. So spotting range is measured in meters and camo rating is a value that is used to negate that value on enemy tanks. It's your armor against their spotting. So whilst you might have a 400 meter spotting range, if I have a great camo value on my tank, I might be able to get within 200 meters of you and still not get spotted. So let's run through some of the key points regarding camouflage in World of Tanks. Every vehicle has a set camo value for when it's stationary. This depends on its size. The smaller the vehicle, the greater the camo value. Each tank also has a different lower camo value for when it's moving. Aside from most light tanks, which retain the same better stationary camo rating regardless of movement. Note that turning your turret does not count as movement. So those are the two things that determine your tank's base camo rating before you try and boost it with any modifiers. The key things to remember are a smaller tank equals better camo rating, sitting still equals better camo rating, and some light tanks also benefit from being able to keep their better camo rating whilst moving. So here are some things that can boost your camo further still, and remember all of these values stack on top of each other. Firstly, putting camo paint on your vehicle does give you a small camo boost. You can do this with silver for temporary camo, or you can pay gold and get a permanent camo job. You can also put a camo net on via the equipment tab. Camo nets only give a boost when you sit still for several seconds and wait for it to engage. The icon will turn highlighted green when it is active. If you move or someone knocks you, you'll lose that camo bonus. You can also train your crew in the camouflage skill. This gives you the biggest boost of those three things. Also, the Brothers in Arms crew skill, improved vents equipment and consumables like chocolate all give a small boost to your camo, since they boost all crew skills by a small amount. Bushes and fallen trees. These range from a small to a very large camo bonus, depending on the size and density of the cover. The bush needs to be in between you and the tank attempting to spot you in order to give you this bonus, so don't stick parts of your tank out through the bush. If you're in a light tank, you can often get in the middle of a large bush and have 360 degree cover. Also remember, multiple bushes stack. You can also take cover behind hard cover, such as a house or a mountain, and when your whole tank's obscured from view like that, you can't get spotted. Unless the tank comes within 50 meters of you, and then tanks will auto spot each other at that range, regardless of line of sight. So those are the things that boost camo, but what about the things that reduce it? We've already mentioned that most tanks get a reduced camo rating when moving, and the other main negative modifier is firing your cannon. So let's take a look. Firing your cannon will lose you about 75% of your current camo rating for about 5 seconds. Also, when you fire, any bushes or other soft cover you are hiding behind that is within 15 meters of your tank will lose almost all of its camo value for 5 seconds, i.e. the enemy can see through your bush for 5 seconds. So if you are sitting inside a bush and you fire your gun, you'll take a massive hit to your camo rating and this will often get you spotted, but there is a way to mitigate this. If you sit 15 meters or more behind a bush and then fire, you won't lose that bush's camo bonus. You'll still take a penalty for firing, but if you're behind a big bush then this might not affect you too badly. But how do I know if I'm 15 meters from a bush, I hear you ask. When you are within 15 meters of a bush, it'll become semi-transparent. You've probably noticed this in the game. When you back up and go over 15 meters, the bushes turn back to their normal opaque state. Easy, that's 15 meters. So just remember that when the bush is opaque, you'll also take a hit to your spotting range in that direction because you're having to look through that bush to the enemy tanks. So the key things to remember, if the bush is semi-transparent, you'll lose your camo bonus from it when you fire. So I know that's a lot to take in, but here's a quick rundown of the key points. Bigger bushes offer better camo. 
If you are within 15 meters of a bush when you fire, you will lose most of the camo bonus it gives you. You generally have better camo bonuses when sitting still. Smaller tanks get better camo ratings than larger ones. Putting camouflage paint on your tanks does give you an in-game boost, and so do various other equipment pieces, consumables, and other crew skills. So hopefully you found that useful. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below in the comments section. And if you enjoyed it, then please consider hitting like or subscribe or sharing this video around with your friends. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Ben, we're the Beard Guys, and I'll catch you later. Mm -hmm.